So this video is going to be a little bit different because I like to talk about a few things and answer a few of your questions. The first thing I like to talk about is that some of my viewers don't seem to get my new videos in their subscription feed. So I don't know why that is, but if you really want to make sure that you don't miss any of my new videos, then please click the little notification bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Hey, this must be one of those self-propelled lawnmower. Maybe I should get me one of those. With the exception of my scroll saw, pretty much all the power tools I have are the cheapest tools you can possibly find. So when it comes to cheap tools, talking about brand names doesn't really matter too much. Because take for example my band saw. You can find the exact same tool under different brand names. So maybe they have painted it in a different color, but it's basically the same cheap tool. I actually get this question a lot and the epoxy I'm using most of the time is a slow drying low viscosity epoxy. It's made by a German company called Bredermann Kunstharze and I don't think they ship outside Germany but I put a link in the description below this video. Scroll saw blades I'm using are made by Niqua and most of the time I'm using a Niqua Fix number 3. So Niqua is a German company and you can find the blades I believe on eBay or Amazon. But you may also like to check out the Flying Dutchman blades and from what I've heard they are pretty good. And don't hold me to that but to my knowledge Flying Dutchman blades are made by Niqua. So here's another great question. What kind of finish do I recommend? Well, this is really not so easy to answer because it really depends on so many things like, for example, what kind of finish do you like? I mean, do you like um, a high glossy finish? Do you like a matte finish? Is it for a softwood or for a hardwood? Is it for interior or exterior use? Um, you see, there isn't that one magical finish that works every time and what works for me might not work for you. So having said that, if you really have absolutely no idea what finish you like, try something like Danish oil. So how long does the project take? That's a good question. Now. I can't really answer that because, you know, I'm not only building a project, I'm also filming the build process. So, for me, I'm constantly um, have to think about how to position the camera, how to position the lighting. So, for me, a project will take at least twice as long as it would take me without filming. Usually you can find a link to the pattern or a link to the website with the pattern in the description box below the video. If there is no link, then I don't have a pattern. If you're looking for a scroll saw pattern though, you might want to check out Steve Good's blog, The Scroll Saw Workshop. And it's www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Some of my viewers have noticed that I looked a little bit different in the last video I released. So, let me explain. Last week's video was footage I recorded about a year ago and since then I lost a lot of weight. 30 kilos, which is about 65 pounds. And that's why I look different. And I still got a few more old videos I've not published yet. So why are there still videos I've not published yet? I like to publish a new video every other week. And sometimes when I'm in the zone, it can happen that I do two or maybe three projects in one week. And then sometimes there are two or maybe three months without any shop time. 
so I made it a habit to have a small backlog of content so that I can upload on a regular basis. But as soon as I start with a new project, I immediately lose interest in the old ones. So I kept postponing the release time again and again. <laughs> so in the next month I will release some old and some new videos. So talking about music in DIY videos. You know, some people like it, some people don't. For me it's just more entertaining to watch a video with music. Maybe with the exception of tutorials. So when I look at my videos, I do have a few tutorials. Um, for example, the video about French polishing. And you won't find any distracting music in my tutorials. But most of my videos are for entertainment or maybe to inspire. And I do like to have music in my videos. As to what kind of music? Well, to avoid copyright problems, I almost exclusively use the music from the YouTube audio library. And I know there will always be people who like the music and there will always be people complaining. It took me some time to realize this, but you can't be everybody's darling, so that's just the way it is. In one of my last videos I had to do some work outside and someone commented that he likes all the green. And you know what? Me too. <laughs> 